Hey! I decided to do this video really laid back and impromptu and chilled because January was not vibing with me. I slacked. I fell off a little bit on some things, like pre-recording anything. Um, but I really wanted to get this one out today because I did... I mentioned previously on my blog I did a Tattoo Tuesday for my thigh piece. I was going to keep doing it, but then I and just decided not to. Um, but, you know, because Google's a stalker, it recommended Quicken's Tattoo Talk Tuesday, and that's how I found her, and that's how I found this tattoo survival quiz that, um, who, it was made by, it was made by a tweet from Emily Fluke 2, not familiar with her, but, um, Quicken decided to add it more questions. So I decided that I wanted to go ahead and answer them. And I mean, just off the bat, no, I would not survive off of any of the tattoos that I had. None of them are objects really. Well, I have some objects, but not helpful objects. And for a time I was going to get a sword on my cap. I was, I was thinking about uh, getting the sword of Dios. And then I was like, oh no, maybe I'll get something else, a different kind of sword. But now I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to get there. I still might get a sword of some sort, but I don't have it yet, so <laughs> I am utterly useless in the wild. Um, so yeah, just jump right into it. First question. If you had to go in a battle with a zombie apocalypse with only items on your tattoo, would you survive? No. Um, yeah, no, I have nothing. I have nothing. I can even... I don't have anything that would even attract a zombie away from me if I were to throw it. Um, the only thing, like, I could probably win a card game, maybe, because I have an ace of hearts, but, like, that's, that's about it. Could you eat, prepare a meal with your tattoos? No. <laughs> no, I could not. I, uh-uh. No. Oh, no. I'm gonna starve. Yeah. I have a bunny, but it's a stuffed bunny. So, there's that. Could you plant a garden? Not a food garden. I have flowers on me, so I could plant a, a garden. She didn't specify what kind of garden. <laughs> so technically, yes, but really, no. Um, yeah, now I've got flowers on my shoulder. I have a couple roses on my calf because they're in a hat. I'm gonna have more flowers at some point, but yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have flowers on my ribs, some lotuses. Mm, if one of those spontaneously bears some sort of fruit or berry, then yeah. Could you furnish your space with your tattoos? No. I have a hat and I have a bow and I have flowers. I could decorate a space. I couldn't furnish it. Um, yeah, and for some, I feel like I'm forgetting tattoos I have, but I'm really not. Huh. Well, could you open a zoo? No, I have no animal tattoos. I do. At some point, I'm going to get a horse portrait on my uh, thigh, but that's a long ways away because it'll be a lot and I'm scared to get my thigh tattooed because it's the one that I broke. So we'll see. Could you create an outfit? I have a hat and a bow and flowers. <laughs> that can make an outfit actually. Maybe I should do that one day like as a challenge. Use the items. I'll get a hat, I'll get a bow, and I'll get flowers. Oh, ooh, ooh, yes. I will do that one day at some point. I don't know when. Um, is that the only? Yeah. Oh, I have lace. And that's it. <laughs> oh, my bunny has clothes. So technically. Uh... What store of business could you open? A flower shop. I got you. 
a flower shop. These random ass flowers. I don't. The flower on my thigh. I don't remember. It's like a. It's like a hibiscus, but it's not. I, can't, I don't remember exactly which flower it is. But then I have the couple roses on my hats. I have. Sorry, I just put it on my shield there. Over here, some flowering dogwood and some geranium. And there's a little bit of flower on that filigree, but. And then I have lotuses on my stomach. Um. There were supposed to be realistic water lilies, and the artist like, drew lotuses, and then I was like, that's not what I asked for. And they're like, a lotus is a water lily. I'm like, that, that's not what I asked for. And they said they, he said he could make them realistic, and then he just put lotuses on his stomach. So there's that. Um, <laughs> could you spend the day with one thing tattooed on you? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I have, I have a stuffed bunny, and I do have a stuffed bunny upstairs. That's why I have the stuffed bunny. Me and my sister have matching stuffed bunnies that my nana gave us. So I could spend a day with a stuffed bunny. Um, I could also spend a day with flowers. I could also spend a day with a bow. You know, just put it in my hair. I'm sorry, I'm not going to insert clips of my tattoos. I don't have pictures of them just, like, as they are. And I also don't feel like shaving, so you've seen them at one point if you know who I am, and you'll see them again at some other point if you're finding me. So uh, just use your imagination. Uh, could you write a poem using only words tattooed on you? Yes, I have a lyric from Fleetwood Mac. I have a lyric from Rhiannon on my side or my hip so see th there's a poem right there i also have dusty on you so yeah oh and i do on my shoulder i have um it says good to see your face because that's what my papa would say when you come over and visit you get a really big bear hug so yeah i can make a poem Ooh. Uh, i'm not gonna try and make one right now maybe <laughs> maybe in another video i'll actually like sit down and just show you me trying to make that poem um could you reenact a movie <laughs> i could be poison ivy love her um no not really i mean i mean i could i don't it wouldn't reenact a movie really um uh, or could it no <gasps> oh See, I am forgetting about tattoos because I have I have French on my leg too, and it's also from a book. It's a scene. It's the heron's tie. Oh, that's a scene right there. Have you, have you read um, one of my favorite mangas? Is Shirohime Shiro Show. Um, sorry, the pronunciation is off. And it's an anthology about why it snows, and it's really beautiful. And it's in the third story. Um, but yeah, I have the picture of the herons being shot down, and then I have, or the first heron being shot down, and the other one going after it. And then I have in French, Pote de Mon Cher, which is forever, my darling. So yeah, I could reenact, although it's not a movie, but I can make it a movie. Um, but it could be reenacted, and then I have, and they all know, cause it's not really a scene. Because I have my my hat and my bow are from Alice in the Country of Hearts, which is like a twist on Alice in Wonderland. Um, and I have part of the saying that the Mad Hatter said, but I want another part of that saying around my wrist. But that's not really reenacting either. Ugh! Oh, and I... Hmm. Over my shoulder I have writing too. <laughs> mm. Yeah, no, all my tattoos are useless. Utterly and completely useless. Um, ooh, I just noticed. I mean, I heard her when I watched the video, but that was a little while. She tagged Treacle Tats and Rihanna. She also tagged... Villainous? Villonious? Oh, yeah. Villonious? I'll have to check them out. I don't know if they did it yet. I haven't seen Rianne. 
do it yet. And I do follow her. I do follow Treacle Test. I didn't notice her putting it up. I'll have to check out Valonius TV and see if they did it. Because, like, all of their tattoos you can see and they're just, like, out there. Um, maybe one day I'll just show all my tattoos. Because, actually, one of the video that I saw, it was, it was her Tattoo Talk Tuesday. And then after that, I can't, it was the first or second video that I saw was the video she talked about tattoo stealing. <laughs> Which, at the time, like, no one knew I existed. However, I had already put up pretty detailed about my thigh piece and some of the things that went wrong with it. Um, and since then, I've put a disclaimer on my thigh piece that I am not okay with anyone using it. But just the thought that somebody would take it, any of my tattoos, because all of my, my tattoos, at least majority of them, do have a significant meaning to me. And so, I, like, that's why I swore off. And so I stopped doing the Tattoo Tuesday and it didn't become a thing on my blog and it's just like every once in a while there's something about tattoos on a Tuesday, which is usually just like me talking about Ink Master or something. <laughs> or this tag where I'm not really even showing you my tattoos. But like I said, use your imagination or go look for them because they're out. Not really, like yes I know they're out, but one day... I have promise on my pinky, and I technically have swear on my pinky, but I got it in the peach, like, on my arm. And, like, you can only see a whisper of it left, so I'm gonna go over it in red. Then you'll be able to see it, because I think the red will stick. We'll see. I haven't been back to my tattoo artist, because I have to do stuff. But I'll go back. I'm thinking about getting an arrowhead. I'm probably gonna get it. But, oh, I could do some stuff. Oh, oh, if I had the arrowhead already, I could survive. Well, a little bit. I could start a fire with an arrowhead. I could kill a fish with an arrowhead. So, yeah. Oh, the birds. If they were trained birds, I could survive. <laughs> uh, oh, no, the birds in the zoo. Uh, that'd be terrible. Thinking about that makes me think of Jurassic Park 3 with the... Uh, 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 I can't even think of the proper name for the birds anymore, but they were in there, and that was a bad idea. Mm -mm. It was a bad idea in the other one, too. What was that, the fourth one? Mm. Those last two. Mm. Mm, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make that poem writing with my tattoos a video. Alrighty then. See you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, even if you didn't, oh well. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>